Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. This is the very first time I was actually able to tell my wife, hey, I'll be out in the garage if you need me. <laughs> I felt so weird to say, because this is the first time I've ever owned my own garage. Uh, so this is awesome. Because in the past I had to say, hey babe, I'm going to my parents' house to do some videos with the Corvette, I'll be over in a couple hours, or back in a couple hours. So it's a really good feeling, it's great, I love it, it's awesome. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and don't know what I'm talking about, my wife and I have been married for seven years. This is the first time we've actually been able to buy our own house. We've been running for the last seven years, um, which is all right, but I'm glad we actually have finally have our own house, have my own garage. Um, so yeah, first time in my garage to do garage stuff, which is awesome. One of the problems I'm having, and I don't understand what the problem is, and it's very annoying, is this light switch right here is what controls my lights. But when I come in here and turn it on, I'll flip the switch on and nothing happens. And I can just like kind of wiggle it around, nothing happens. But every once in a blue moon, it'll, it'll work. I mean, there's times I've actually sat here and like went up and down like 40 times trying to get it to come on. Um, and then it finally does. And so when I, before I backed my truck out, I backed the truck, oh, I pulled the truck out a little bit ago. Um, the light was on. And then when I pulled the truck out, the light went off. So it's just like, it's very sporadic. I'm thinking and hoping it's just the switch. My uncle is a uh, electrician, so I'm hoping he can come over here and take care of all this stuff. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is, as you guys can see all this shelving right here, um, I'm definitely gonna have shelving in here whenever you know I'm using the garage. Since the previous owners had all this stuff up here, I'm gonna take it all down because for one, it's very cheaply made, it looks tacky, and I wanna have a better, a better system for my shelving. Uh, so I'm gonna take it all down, and I'm hoping to reuse some of the wood, um, but to start the process of getting um, new wiring through here, so there's any like, what? I think there's one, two, there's, there's literally two outlets in this entire garage. So you have one here, and <laughs> you have one here. And I want to have a, I want to have like four or five of them along this back wall because that's where my main workbench is gonna be. Um, and then I have this awesome um, table vise that I'm gonna put over there. I'm gonna take this here's not gonna be replaced with a shelf because my truck comes in here. And right now when the truck is parked, it's like this far away. So I want to be able to it's like you know, this far out um, back here. It was even like maybe an inch. Uh, so I want to be able to <clears throat> take this away so we can e easily walk through here to get in the truck. Um, so that's what we're gonna do tonight is we're going to start taking the shelving down, start making this garage my own. Um, I'm, I'm just really excited, guys. I, I hope you guys don't think I'm faking this excitement because it's, just, it's a garage, but when you haven't had a garage your whole life and you're a huge car person and you've had a Corvette for almost 11 years, actually uh, in two days will be 11 years since, since I bought my car, uh, this is a big deal to me. So I hope you guys are here um, for the excitement. I'm you gotta see the change the garage. I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I'm, what I'm gonna do here. Um, I really appreciate you guys checking in on this one. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is one solid piece of wood right here. I think this may have came from our attic because there was a bunch of this stuff missing from upstairs. Look how old these nails are, guys. Wow. Check that out. Check this out. I, rem I removed this from, from here. And I found this, this hidden drawer back here. Found a pair of gloves, which is no big deal, but pencil. But check out this manual for the garage door openers, man. This thing is ancient. I'm, I'm almost wondering if this isn't even the ones that are currently installed because this thing looks like it's pretty dang old. Wow, it's like hand drawn almost where is it what, what brand even is this I don't even know uh, I don't say huh Alistair Alistair and Exton PA this is a genie and telecode pretty sure it's not the same thing. Dude, think about, I wonder how old this thing is. I would, wish it was a date on this. That'd be crazy to know. That was close. How close was 
that? Wow. Just scrape this. Wondering why I didn't uh, take this off? It's because I don't have any tools at my house yet. They're all still at my parents' house, where all my tools have been for well the past seven years. But since we have a garage now, they're gonna be coming over here very soon, and uh, this will be coming off. And the plywood will be used upstairs in the attic because there's a few floorboards that were removed for some reason. So I'm gonna put them up there, and this way it won't fall through the ceiling. All right, folks, my camera's about to die, but I wanted to show you the progress. It's been about 30 minutes. Um, Looks pretty good. I got <clears throat> the, all the, the thing down, as you can tell. This light right here, I'm definitely gonna take down because I have no need for a light here. Keep the outlet, of course. Um, the lights, these lights actually just came back on. As you notice in a pre few of the previous clips, I was basically using that light right there because these lights went off. For some reason, when I, when I, if I, if I like hit the wall, I'm not gonna do it, but if I hit the wall, it, the light shut off. So I had to hit it again for it to come back on. Um, but, but it doesn't work all the time, so I don't know what that issue is. But I also got, I actually hooked this up to this and it lifted the door if I held the button in, but then I couldn't get it back down. So I don't know what's going on with the garage door opener. I'm gonna have to get that looked at, maybe even replaced, not sure. But um, I've never done anything with garage doors before. Um, can you guys replace just this? Or do you gotta replace the entire rail? Uh, also, the um, sensors down here, I only have that one. Um, the one over here is completely missing. It's completely not there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is uh, day one of uh, construction that I started. I got myself a nice little pile of dirt over here and a bunch of wood and old air conditioning. Um, so that's gonna do it for, the, for, for this um, part of this night. Um, the video's not over yet. You guys will see part two here soon. But uh, I'm going to bed because it's late and I wanna see my wife a little bit. All right, let's see if this light switch works. Wow. Holy cow, guys, okay. Got light in here. By the way, real quick update. Today we had a guy come to the house to look at our garage door motors and um, they determined that they are completely shot. These are actually, he said between 17 and 20 years old, which I did not expect him to be that old at all. Um, he did a bunch of different things. He changed the um, the safety beams at the front, uh, didn't take care of it. He, he um, had new remotes here. He changed a bunch of other things, um, switched out different sensors here and there, nothing worked. So he said, you know, garage door openers are only supposed to last 10 to 15 years, and these are 17 to 20. Um, so I actually ordered new garage door openers um, because of all the more that I use my garage, as far as the doors go up and down. I told them that the garage door might be opened once a week. Um, sometimes more than that, depending on the season and how busy I am. But um, I went with another Genie model. Uh, the Genie is a cheaper brand. Um, so they were, for the, for the whole entire pair installed, it was $681, I think. Um, for the lift master, which is what I would like to have had, um, they, it was over $1,000, so I went with the cheaper ones. I hope I don't regret that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting. But um, we're gonna take down this uh, workbench, as you can see here. Um, take all this stuff off, get it all tear, tore apart like I did on this side. And uh, as you guys can also see on this side, I did get all the crap out of there, that big bookshelf that was here. Uh, as you saw in my most recent video, I did burn that, got, got rid of it. Um, I, I was like, so how should I go about taking this thing down and tearing it apart? I didn't, didn't have, you know, I didn't want to tear it apart like, a, like it was being put together. So I literally just got it and just pushed it onto the ground and it just broke into a thousand pieces. So it was perfect. Took the pieces out, threw it in the fire, and we were good to go. This is a quality TV if anyone wants to buy it from me. LED, 4K, oh yeah. I'll give you guys a deal. If you want both of them, I'll give you guys a 50% uh, price reduction. Let me know in the comments below. I think this is going to be a little easier than that side over there was. But it's not put together in here as well. We shall see. Oh yeah. Last 
people. Look at that. Oh man. I think I could have built that. Who knows? I don't like it up there. And just like that, we have three hooks removed. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Look at all these ladybugs. A ton of them. It's like 15, 20 of them all in a, in a huddle. I don't even know if they're alive. That's why I'm waiting for the dust to settle over here because I can barely breathe from all the dust while I was sweeping up the floor. I wanted to tell you guys, I forgot to tell you when I first started this part of the video, but it's actually 61 degrees right now at our house. Um, some rain showers are coming through right now, but it's so odd because this time of year, like in like typical winters this time of year, you're looking at like teen, <coughs> sorry, teen <coughs> temperatures, 20s, sometimes 30s, but usually at this point it's freezing cold for several weeks at a time. So it was 58 yesterday, uh, Monday, and then today is 61. Um, and that's what it is right now. And it's 640 at night. I, I don't know what it was like today at around one o'clock in the afternoon, but it's crazy. I, I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's a little windy and it was just a little bit chilly. And I don't wanna get cold because I already have a little bit of something. Um, but you could easily be out here with just a t-shirt on or no shirt at all, but it's kind of crazy. All right, now that the dust has settled a little bit, I'll show you. I do have uh, my entire uh, uh, shelving. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Shelving down. Uh, I got it all cleaned up along the, um, the floor here. Um, <clears throat> got it all dusted up. Uh, I did not start this wall yet, so if you're wondering why it looks filthy, that's why. Uh, I still have nails in here I gotta take out. Plus I wanna move all that stuff to get it over here while I do that wall. Um, but we got ourselves a nice little pile here and some wood that we're gonna get rid of. Um, I am saving some wood though. Over here, you can see there's some wood. That was from the old shelf I took off on this wall over here because my wife wants to use this to put up um, on some of our walls in the house to make it look like country-esque, you know, like an old cabin or something, who knows. So I now have one wall plus one wall, so two walls total. But you guys are surprised I could do that math, aren't you? And then this wall over here is next. And then that wall over there, of course, there's nothing over there besides Garage doors. gentlemen we got trees growing in the garage what do I mean by that well trees growing in my garage we have them all down there through there up there right there and they're even hanging down from there and there and the reason for that is and they're also over there is outside here take a walk outside with me see these vines right here these vines have been growing for years and no one ever took care of them which sucks because now I do but these have all grown up alongside of our shed 
and inside my garage. So with that said, I need to get rid of these, but for one, I am not sure if they're poison or not, and I do not want to touch poison, because I do get poisoned pretty bad. Um, so that's why, but yes, I'm, I'm going to take care of this. We actually also have some on our house, and um, I do not want vines on the house, especially on the stone, because it can ruin the stone, and uh, that won't be good. So I'm sorry if it's really dark in here, guys. You guys know I don't have very much light. I hope this is a little better for you. Um, but uh, since we... Uh, don't have much light in here. This is kind of how I got to film. You know what I mean? So, this is the wall three. The wall three. This is wall three. Wall one was over there. Wall two was over here. Of course, all that stuff was over here. But in order to clean this, I had to move it over there. That should all make sense to you guys. Um, so, this third wall here is now clean, which is really exciting. Because the next step is to burn the remaining of the stuff that I'm not going to use. The, the wood. Um plywood all that junk down there remove the vise from that piece of plywood there that was on the shelf over there the carpet um apparently our uh uh township or what we want to call it has um very strict rules on putting stuff in the trash and they said anything that's not inside a bag will not be picked up whether or not that's true or not i don't know but that carpet will not fit in a bag so i'm going to get my sawzall cut it in half throw it in the bag and we should be good um, yeah, the air conditioners are gonna sit here for a little bit yet because obviously I don't need them. It's the winter time, even though today I could use it because it's 61 degrees. But I'm gonna build a shelf, I think, over in that corner. I'm gonna build like three or four shelves high to stack all these on um, in the off season. The TVs, of course, are going one, two, three. That AC is junk. Um, lawn mower, push mower, the hose will all be in my shed here soon. Which, by the way, um, since we did get the attic cleaned out this past Saturday, I spent about seven to eight hours getting all of our stuff that goes in our attic up to the attic since our our shed was now, uh, I mean, since the attic was now empty because of getting the stuff out of the house. Now I had to take all the stuff that was in our shed, which was attic stuff, up to the attic. So now the shed is becoming more of a shed and has some uh, bicycles, um, push mower, weed whacker, some that kind of stuff in there, which is cool. Um, so the next step is to get my uncle over here, um, and he is, he's a full-time electrician, he has his own business, and he's going to rewire this entire place. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put any outlets over here. Reason being is because if you're not new to the channel, um, which if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you're not new to the channel, I even more appreciate you guys being here and supporting the channel um, as I make these videos. Greatly appreciate it. Um, but as you guys know, I do not keep my car just sitting in a garage. Uh, well, it does, but it's kind of covered with uh, a little black enclosure thing that I made for it. Um, so since that's going to sit here and take up, you know, all this room, I figured why have outlets over along this wall? Because up until about here forward, you're not going to be able to access this area at all. Like there's, you're not going to get through here. There's never going to be anything need to be plugged in. Now. Since I'm gonna be putting insulation in here and OSB, should I go ahead and just add an outlet or two just so I have it? I'm thinking maybe I should because you never know what's gonna come in the future. Um, I, if someday I end up getting a different vehicle, I, I have no idea what the future holds. Um, that's all up to God. So I think I am gonna go ahead and just add actually two outlets in here just so I have them, even though they're probably never gonna be used by me. But if, if I, we sell this house someday and someone moves in and they might want an outlet over there, I don't want to see them have to take apart you know, the walls to do it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and spend the couple extra bucks it's gonna cost to do that. Um, I'm gonna drill the holes for my uncle. That'll save him a couple uh, a couple minutes. Uh, so he have to do all that. And I have, I have good paddle bit stuff to do that with. Uh, but as I was saying, I keep talking here, I'm sorry. But the next step is to get the entire place rewired. Um, even the outlets that are up here now for the garage door openers, I'm gonna have them replaced with brand new ones. When you, whenever you plug something in, it makes like a really weird clicking, like not a, not a sparking noise, but like it's really hard to get the plug up in. Um, and as you guys do know, this outlet here is like shot. I don't know what's wrong with it, but like it, it doesn't work all the time. When I did walk in a little bit ago, it did work fine, which was weird. Um, so that, that's being replaced for sure. Uh, this light's coming down because I have no need for a light to be here. That's stupid. This right here is also coming down because it's very old. I'm going to keep an outlet here, of course, but replace that. Um... I think that's about it. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
I'm really excited about this. Uh, it's, it's just really weird to be able to come out here and literally it's uh, February 4th right now and I have both of my garage doors wide open, the side door wide open, and I'm actually pretty hot in this sweater, in this sweatshirt. I should probably take it off. But I'm going inside now, so I will be taking it off to get a shower. Um, but uh, finally got the garage cleaned up enough that we can actually do some other like real work, like the electric, electrical stuff and to get the garage doors installed, which they are doing that on Monday which will be five, six, seven, eight, nine, the 10th, February 10th, yes, February 10th, yes. They're gonna be installing the new garage door openers for me, which I will then have remotes for the car, with the truck and the Corvette, and new switches over there. Um, so I'm excited. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, are enjoying seeing the garage. Uh, you guys so far um, have given me lots and lots of love um, and, uh, support for the whole um, new house thing. Um, I was very excited about it, of course, because I get my own house, and I'm even more excited to share it with you guys, and you guys have been very uh, excited for me, um, for my family, it's, it's meant a lot to me. Um, you guys have you know, said you're looking forward to seeing the garage change. I love seeing stuff go from something to something new, um, seeing pictures, videos, whatever, so uh, I'm enjoying making these videos, I'm enjoying editing the videos, I'm enjoying seeing your guys' comments, you guys absolutely mean the world to me. I know they say it all the time. I hope it doesn't sound cliche. I really do appreciate you guys very much. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you did not like the video, I'm sorry, but please give it a thumbs up anyways. It really helps the channel out. Please subscribe to this channel, Dulop's channel. Take care now. See you later. Bye. No, don't die. Don't die. All right, I'll do.